Categorizing the minutes administration as desperate, opposition deputy leader Chester Cooper said on Wednesday that he is very concerned that the Bahamian people will be left holding the bag once the long-awaited Grand Lucayan deal is finally done. His comments come after Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minnis announced that the government will sign a heads of agreement for the sale of the Grand Lucayan Resort on March 2nd. I'm going to look very closely at the heads of agreement because this government has made promises. They've brought foreign direct investments to the table with big announcements only to find that it was only fluff. In August 2018, government purchased the Grand Lucayan Resort from Hong Kong conglomerate Hutchinson Wampoa for $65 million. At the time, the government received heavy criticism from the opposition who labeled the decision a bad move. Since the purchase, the Minnis administration has spent tens of millions of dollars on separation packages and maintenance costs. Cooper said government has spent too much money on this resort. The government overpaid for this property. They did a bad deal at the beginning. They paid more than the appraised value. They're now very desperate. Uh, they don't have the capacity or wherewithal to effect a proper negotiation even before Hurricane Dorian. They're now more desperate than before and we are very concerned. His comments come days after Tourism Minister Dionisio de Aguilar touted the deal, noting that it is in the best interest of Grand Bahamians. Meantime, Cooper says government needs to be more transparent. Ideally, if they would release the details uh, in advance, if possible, we might be able to assist them with the negotiation. Because so far, they've done a very poor job. And uh, I'm very concerned uh, uh, of their capacity to negotiate, as well as their level of desperation that can be seen by the people on the other side of the table. Ultimately, I'm concerned that the Bahamian people will get a bad deal. In March 2019, the government signed a letter of intent with Royal Caribbean Cruises Limited and the ITM Group for the purchase of the resort for $65 million and the redevelopment of the Freeport Harbor. Reporting for the Guardian News Network, I'm Berthini McDermott.